Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to have you back in church again. For some of you, it's the first time in a long time. I pray that you will feel welcome. And for all of us, I pray that we would be aware of the presence and the glory of God as we meet together in his name. If it's the first time that you've been to us, welcome. It's lovely to have you. If you are visiting from far away, when you go home, please take our greetings to your home congregation. You've been given or you've taken the pew sheet, please take that home with you at the end of the service and please take the order of service home with you at the end of the service. When our service is over, there will be a brief uh, pause to allow those of you who aren't attending the annual meeting of the church to leave in an orderly fashion without having to run, and then we will congregate to have our annual meeting. I don't think I have anything that I want particularly to emphasize out of the notices. When we come to communion, we will begin with the people at the back, not at the front. And so Liz the Warden will indicate to you when to come forward. And when you've received communion, which will be in the form of the bread only, please would you return to your place down the side aisles. We're still trying to maintain all the relevant social distancing measures to keep everybody safe. If you prefer not to receive communion, that's absolutely fine. You may remain in your place or you can come up for a blessing, bringing your order of service with you so that I will know uh, what to do with you. I'm very pleased to be assisted today by Fiona and Yoke is filming the service so that that will go on to our YouTube channel in due course, probably by tomorrow morning. And of course, I'm always assisted by Coco, my guide dog who sleeps through absolutely everything. Please would you stand. Peter, when he was being interrogated as to why he was doing what he was doing, said, there is no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. And of course he was referring to Jesus. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Please would you sit or kneel. And together we pray. Almighty oh, God, God. To whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil, and confess our sins in penitence and faith. And in a moment of silence we reflect on the week that has gone before, and ask God to bring to mind those things that he would like us to confess to him. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of our life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and 
and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please would you stand as we say the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Please sit or kneel as we pray the collect for the fourth Sunday of Easter. It's Good Shepherd Sunday, always the fourth Sunday of Easter. We pray together. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now Jill and Roy are going to deliver our readings for us. The first reading is taken from Acts chapter 4, verses 5 to 12. The next day, their rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Tatius, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power? Or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, <coughs> said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among to mortals by which we must be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Hallelujah. He has defeated the powers of death. Hallelujah. Jesus turns our sorrow into dancing. Hallelujah. He has the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd, and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. 
For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, She was, and very kindly she didn't leave me with a hymn book. 
possibly because we didn't pay the rent to the temple. But God knows who we are. And in my preparation, I came across a story of what had happened to a farmer in America. He had a very big farm, and it was mixed farming, I think it was, and within the midst of everything else that he was doing, he had a flock of sheep that he loved and he tended very carefully. And then one weekend he was away at a county fair, and when he came home he found that some mean person had come and stolen not just one sheep, but his entire flock. I don't know how big it was, but it was a devastating loss to him because he loved his sheep. When he had a think about it, he thought, actually, I have a sneaking suspicion that I know who took my sheep. And so two, two weeks later, he attended the next county fair in another county. And as he was walking through amidst the pens of sheep that were waiting to go up for auction, some of the sheep began to cry out to him, and he recognized his flock of sheep. And his friend who got with him said, Are you sure those are your sheep? How can you be sure? And he said, I know my sheep. And look, they know me too. And they were happily reunited. Whatever your situation is today, you feel that you've been thrown out by somebody, may you know how much God loves you and cares for you and be reassured that he really does know your name. And in this reading, Jesus goes on to say, there are other sheep of my flock and I'm going to go to them as well. Because the people of God don't all look the same. God is concerned about the others, not just those who look like us. And within the whole debate of racism that's swirling around us as with um, all the debates that are going on in our country at the moment, it's good to remind ourselves that God doesn't just care about us and people who look like us, but he's passionately devoted to others who don't look anything like us at all calls us to be devoted to them as well. Amen. Today we are also celebrating the birthday of our Queen which took place on Wednesday. So Martin has prepared some wonderful music for us. We're not allowed to sing. So please would you stand as he plays the national anthem and then sit down as he plays Jerusalem.
Please would you stand as we affirm our faith in God.
May we know that nothing separates us from you. We pray for all who have passed through darkness and have entered into light and life everlasting. We remember the family and friends of Bron Ansel, Dale Walton, and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you for your unfailing care and own you as our good shepherd, in whom we are kept safe forever. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much, Diane. Please, would you stand for the peace? Don't get carried away and try to shake anybody's hand. We smile and wait. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. And we smile and wait. Please would you be seated if you've finished waving. And I'm going to ask please that now um, you indicate whether you are intending to receive communion. It will just be the wafer. I don't mean just the wafer, it will be the wafer. Um, if you are going to receive today, please would you raise your hand so that we can count how many people we're expecting. And I rely on my wardens and people who can see to assist. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please would you stand. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We we lift them them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give the lives Please be seated. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. By the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of the Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread may be to us his body and his blood. For in the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. 
Do this in remembrance of me. To you, glory and praise, Lord. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. To you be glory and praise forever. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Christ, Christ is died, Christ, Christ is risen, Christ, Christ will come again. Except through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. To you be glory and praise forever, through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught his disciples, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Break this bread to share in the body of Christ. So we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world. As we come to communion, please would you help me by catching the wafer, because I cannot see your hand. I will hold the wafer up and it's your job to catch it when I drop it. Please. Thank you. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Always under his protection, 
Thank you. 